Philippians chapter 4. <clears throat> Be careful for nothing. Hallelujah. And we found it. Philippians 4, verse 6. It says, be careful for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Be careful for nothing. When it talks about being careful for nothing, it's an old English. It doesn't mean that you should be carefree. That is, just live as you like, do whatever you like, don't bother about anything. Don't just live a carefree life. That's not what he's saying here. The world there, to be careful, means to be anxious, to be anxious, to be full of anxieties, to be full of worries, to be full of fears, or to be full of the thoughts of negative outcomes, to be full of the thoughts that maybe something bad is going to happen. That's what I'm talking about there. Be careful for nothing. Be anxious for nothing. Now, when God gives us an instruction to keep, it means that it is within our power to keep those instructions. If God says, be careful for nothing, guys, be anxious for nothing, don't be anxious over anything. Don't be fearful over anything. Don't worry over anything. Then it means that it is within your power to do so. You see? And so, don't expect somebody else to do that for you. And then don't expect God to do it for you. The only thing you expect for God is that since... He has given you the instruction. He will also give you the willingness and the power to do what he has instructed you to do. Because Paul tells us that it is God that works in us both to will and to do of his good pleasure. But what we do is that we cooperate with God and is he get ourselves ready to obey God. When we do that, then God comes in to empower us with the desire and the ability to do his will. To do what he has instructed us to do. Hallelujah. Amen.